Even though fall is almost here, it's still a great time to feed the birds. Barb Brebner from For the Birds joins us with some tips. Hi, Barb. How you doing? Great, thanks. How are you doing? Good. Now you're going to talk about suet this time and how to kind of beef up the feed at this time of year. Yeah, we're going to talk about some suet and then we're also going to talk about letting some of your plants in your yard and some of your garden flowers remain. Instead of cutting everything down for the fall and, and, and you know making it kind of flat and, and all cleaned up, if you can leave it a little messy because there's so much seed material out there in flowers for the birds that it's like leaving natural feeders all around your yard. Mm. And they'll sit and work on this for hours. All the flowers that I have here, even the grasses and, um, for example, just these taller grasses. This is big blue stem, and there's a lot of seed on there for them. And in all of my uh, cone flowers that I have out here, there's tons of seed. And the birds will come and just sit and pick all of those clean. And it's, it's a wonderful way to kind of have natural bird feeders in your yard. And it's, it's very, very healthy for them. And they'll spread the seeds for you so they'll they'll replant more it's just it's a lot of fun to have them out there in the flower stalks in the in the winter when you're watching them but we do have some suet over here too mm -hmm. what exactly is know, suet um, can i ask you a dumb question what's suet yeah it's gross it's it's actually <laughs> beef fat and um it's the fat that's that's around the kidney area and in this log you can see there's that stuff mm. and Boy, so many birds like that, and it's a great way. It's just a great way to keep them um, nicely, nicely healthy and full of full of lots of vitamins. It's actually got electrolytes and minerals and all that kind of stuff. So too. you can buy something that's already done for you, so you don't have to handle the suet. Yeah, we've we've got the the great attractor kind here that comes in these little um, little tubes, and you put those right into the log. We like the log suet feeders because it's a natural feeding method. The birds sort of think that they're eating bugs right out of a branch and out of a dead tree. But, and then here's the kicker, for the people who have given up feeding suet because the squirrels eat it all the time, this right here is hot pepper suet. Mm. And that has hot pepper mixed into it already. And the squirrels get a dose of that and they go running from your trees <laughs> and running from your suet feeders. But the birds don't good. mind it? The birds don't mind it at all. Oh. They aren't sensitive to the hot pepper. Huh. So that's a, it's a great way to kind of foil the squirrels while enjoying the birds at the same time. Now, you talked about leaving your plants um, up through the winter, and now is a good time to get good deals on some perennials, like the coneflower oh, you yeah. mentioned. Can you suggest yeah, others that are great for birds? And uh, We love, we love coneflowers, especially you know any of the, the purple coneflowers. Those are wonderful. Those provide a lot of feed. Those are the yellow coneflowers that you're looking at now, and those, those you can plant from seed or you can buy those. Um, I love cup plant. Cup plant, which is the one right next to this one, Mike. Um, this plant has a lot of seeds on the blossoms, and if you'll notice, right there in the in the the crux of the two leaves, there, there's water. And in the morning, the dew collects in there, and the birds can actually sip the water out oh, of the wow. plant. So like that's it's a really cup. neat. It is. It is. And I w and I want to remind people too to leave their hummingbird feeders up right now. Because the hummingbirds are migrating, they'll be migrating. I've seen them as late as, as early October, like October 9th, 10th. Oh. So if you can leave your hummingbird feeders out, keep them nice and clean because they're going to need that extra food for the journey. Okay, Barb, we'll leave it at that. And uh, can you see any smoke around there? Where's the fire? I don't know, but it sounds <laughs> like it's pretty exciting. We, yeah. Yeah. We, we might have to send Mike anything. off to cover it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Barb. See you later. Thanks.